morning my sweet angels welcome back to my channel if you are new an even bigger welcome <music> filming with Made in Chelsea at, I'm just making myself a quick coffee, at a place called Lakes by You or something, which is actually really cool and really nice. I thought I'll show you the house that we're staying in. It's so cute. I actually love it. I'm just trying to find out, although I have no idea what anything is. Um, so I don't even know. So this is so cute. Oh my god. Oh no. I've just found a dead bird. Oh my god. Poor little guy. I wonder what happened to him. He must have flown into the window. Oh no. Oh my god. Poor thing. Is that it up there? Oh my god. I don't know. Well today is not my day. What is even going on? That is so sad. I'm gonna have to come out the other door. I can't witness that. Oh my god, I can't believe that. The poor birds. We've lost one. Oof. The exposure on this camera is probably like, what's going on? This is the pool. And then look at all that. And then there's a lake over there. Oh my god, it's just, it's actually so nice. I honestly really do think I am a country girl. Look. Oh, not me with my coffee. I feel so much more relaxed out in the countryside. I just absolutely love it. But anyway, I thought, you know what? May as well take you along my week this week. I'm here for two nights. Well, for two nights, three days. And then I am... And then, yeah. I thought I'd just do a week... <gasps> and then, yeah, just sort of do a weekly vlog for you all. So, just had a little shower. Washed and blow dried the hair using the Dyson Air app. I'm now gonna put on my makeup. I've got a few little jobs I need to do. And then I've got filming later at four. So that's my day today. And then we leave tomorrow afternoon. And why am I so pale? This girl has been on genuinely like, I wanna say seven holidays in the space of three months and this is the color of me. What happened? I literally got on the plane and my tan just it went. It's not acceptable, is it? So this is what I'm wearing. I genuinely look like I'm about to start either an Elvis tribute or an Abba tribute, but in a weird way, I kind of like it. We're vlogging. Yeah, we're vlogging. Do you want to be in my vlog? Yeah. Greaves is here. Say hello. Say hello, everybody. <laughs> she actually got the nice room. I got. I actually got the short straw. But how nice is this room? Apparently this is the guy's house who owns the place, but he kind of like lives in this one. But I don't really get it because, I mean, I guess this is just maybe a summer house room, I'm unsure, but how wholesome. Someone's out there kayaking on that river. It's like something out of bloody river, lake. It's like something out of uh, the notebook. What have we got down here? Oh my God, also, so that dead bird that I showed you this, you all the, the dead bird that I showed you all this morning. So what happened was, is it happened again with another bird, flew into the window and we Googled it and apparently it means like death is upon us. So thankfully it was like fully out cold. So it like smacked into the window and was like, like, I don't know, it was in shock. And then it started like slowly moving again and then it flew away. So, thank God, death can't be upon us at the moment because the second bird didn't actually die. He resurrected from the dead like Jesus. So, thank God for that. Oh my God, that was the longest day of my actual life. It is quarter past 
12 and I've literally just finished filming. I am in this grey tracksuit once again because I'm not going to lie, it's the only thing I actually brought with me. So I'm going to get some sleep now and I will chat to you guys in the morning. Oh, so I have just, oh my god, I've just arrived at my smear test. This is like my third one now, and the reason why I'm talking about it is because I feel like everyone should not be scared of them. And go in um, and definitely get one because they're extremely important. So I'll let you know. I'm probably not going to vlog the uh, the scenario because it's not going to be a pleasant one. To be fair, it doesn't hurt at all. It's just quite uncomfortable for literally five seconds and then it's done. But yeah, off she goes. So that's all done. Literally took. 10 minutes let's hope it's all okay the nurse was really nice i'm now just at my mum's house because i need to pick up a few things and my doctor's is still where my home is because i've never ever changed it i've been going there since i was very very young so i'm gonna grab my bits now and i've got to do boring things today i've got to run errands i'm going to the accountant i need to get the car washed and then I'm going to go get my nails done. Just like a little catch-up day. It's one of those Fridays where I'm just going to... And where I've been away, obviously, filming. I just want to have a little reset. And I just want to get all the rubbish, random jobs done today. Well, not that getting my nails done is random and rubbish. But um, things like being an adult and getting smear tests and going to the accountant. What a day! It is Saturday morning. And I'm feeling fresh. How lovely. I'm up, I'm out, I'm about to go on a long walk. I've got to gym class. <sighs> Life's great. I feel very productive. And I'm gonna come back. It's a Saturday, by the way. No out, I didn't even drink last night. Went to Ikea and I bought a really cute cactus. What do we think of this little guy? <laughs> I mean, are we in Arizona? I think, well, I'm gonna call him Kevin. I think he's kind of cute. Yesterday we went to Ikea and I didn't come home. We got home at 10 o'clock. <laughs> 10 o'clock, I got into bed, I had a hair mask in. And it was honestly delightful. I love staying in on a Friday night. Um, you can tell I'm getting older. It's so nice waking up feeling fresh on a Saturday and going to like a gym class. I prefer this way over being hungover, my God. I feel productive, I feel fresh. Next time I drink, can someone remind me how I feel today, please? I'm away to get a facial, which I haven't had in like a year. No, probably, probably about eight months. Because my skin is so bad at the moment. I think it's where I've been away. And now I've come back into London and obviously it's just like pollution central and it just, it's not bad. So we're going to Eleni Clinic to get a nice hydrofacial. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. Not me looking like an egg. And there we have it. Look at my lovely glowy skin hello i mean i'm not gonna lie it has in fact been about a week since i last vlogged but i just got my results back from my smear test and everything is all clear which means i don't need to go back for another three years i think it is but I do just want to say, honestly, guys, if you haven't booked yours in and you are over the age of 25, get it booked in. Don't be scared. I just think even if this reminds you to do it, just get it done because it's so important. There's nothing more important than your health. So there's a little tip from me. I have it to update you on. I mean, this week I've been so busy. And sometimes when I'm really busy, I really want to vlog the whole... I really want to take you guys along with me on like what I'm doing. But I'm that busy, I forget to do it. And also, I just don't even have the time. So, but what I have been doing is actually editing a lot of videos for you. So I've got like a backlog to basically just keep going. So I can just get a bit more of like 
what do they call it? What's the word I'm looking for? You know when you're looking for a word? Consistency. That is the word I'm looking for. So I can be a bit more consistent on this platform. I think when I'm super busy with filming and Instagram stuff and bikini bible stuff, my attention gets divided and I, and I do need to learn to like keep going, keep putting as much energy as I can into all of my things and not letting some slip. So anyway, that's my kind of aim for this week and that is what I've been doing. So sorry if I haven't vlogged much, but I also, excitingly enough, me, Ollie and Gareth are on a health hype. We are genuinely health queens and we have joined a gym. We have kind of like said to ourselves, and I haven't, and I haven't had a gym membership in forever. I really haven't and for me it's really close to my to where I live it's just like a good place where I can take my laptop I can work there they do so many classes they've got lovely spa area it's honestly just like a bit of a investment I'd say because when I like the membership's quite expensive but I thought to myself I was like normally this is an investment this is important for me to do things like this especially like it means I can do classes three times a week I can work there who knows, you could network. I'm quite excited. I think it's great. I've actually got Pilates class in approximately one hour. So, and then after that, I do have, what am I doing after that? Oh, I have the main Chelsea we're all going to watch. It's a screening, which is like the premiere. Premiere? Premiere. 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 Whatever it is, it, we're watching one of the first episodes that comes out on Monday. So by the time I edit this and get it out, it will probably already be out. So yeah, it's super exciting. They're doing it slightly different this time as well. The episodes are coming out each day for like five days, I think, in a row. there's like five episodes, or maybe there's six. I can't remember, it was all such a blur. But this is Mallorca, our summer series. It's going to be super fun. I mean, it, it's not going to be. It was super fun. And yeah, I'm excited to see it. It will be um, it will be a nice little evening. Way to Cornwall this weekend, which will be so nice. It's like honestly, the weather at the moment, guys. I feel like I'm in. I don't. There's two sides to me. That one, I love the weather being warm and sunny, and it really just like blue skies. They hit different. But another side to me is like, oh my god, it's too hot. I can't do anything. Kind of thing. You know, I need it to, if it's going to be warm and like I'm going to sunbathe, but I need, I need to be by a pool. So anyway, going down to Cornwall, weather's going to be lovely and I'm really excited. So I am on my way. I'm not late for the as usual. Love that for me. I genuinely got ready in 20 seconds because I decided to stay in the sauna for far too long. And this is what I'm wearing. What do you think? I mean, it's my go-to outfit. I've literally re-worn this outfit about five times at this point but I've decided I'm going to save money now I know I say this every year and then I did like last year I kept saying it I need to buy a house and I decided to go buy a watch but this time um I mean it and it's time to knuckle down so I'm re and I sound just like the whole first world problem I'm re-wearing clothes I'm re-wearing outfits um I honestly sound awful but you know what I mean like I'm just not buying clothes so, like normally I'd go out and buy an outfit um, but I'm not going to do that because it's not feasible anymore and it needs to be grown up and it needs to be built. So it's about 100 degrees and I genuinely am sweating profusely. So this is really cute. I'm excited to watch it and I'll let you know if you guys are going to like it. <laughs> oh, there's such a blur. I can't even remember it. what happens now. These nights are always quite fun because we can actually hang out with like the producers. Don't get me wrong, I think it's quite cute, quite wholesome. I 
love the vibe, but it's quite strange. Like, it's come out of nowhere. It's like the trend has come back. I'm tempted to get myself a pair, but I am hoping that within about a year or so, the, the he will come back. Do you remember those bad boys when you used to, like, he around? They were trainers, but they had wheels on. It was genius. And we used to go around the supermarkets pissing everyone off because the supermarkets had the best, best surface to, you know, glide along. I'm really hoping for that day and when it would be acceptable for adults to go around on them. You know what? I think I might be on something here. Maybe I'll start my own heady band. Make it cool again. God. Last night was so cute. It was so fun. They made it so nice. I would have got my camera out but I'm not actually allowed to vlog as it's not out yet. Oh my god though. I'm so puffy this morning. I had three glasses of Prosecco and a vodka soda and I feel hungover this is how old I'm getting I'm just like I can't do it anymore I'm such a pussy so this is the nicest thing I've ever put on my face for it's my little I put it in the freezer at night and then in the morning when I'm feeling a bit bloated I just rub it all over the face you know Today I've actually got one of those days where I've got some work to do. I need to do some content and I've got some work to do in the morning. Well, what time is it now? 8.30. This is a lie-in for me. I don't normally stay in bed this late in the week, but I've been up every day at like 7. So I'm actually going to drive back home, I think, and see my mum because she gets needy when she doesn't see me for a while. And um, I'm getting laser as well. Which will be quite nice. Well, will it be nice? I don't know. I've wanted it for a while. And this is like laser hair removal, by the way. Oh, God. I'm terrible. Also, I'm... I don't even know what is going on anymore. But, yeah. I'm going to have a nice day today. The weather's nice. It's Thursday. I go to Cornwall on Saturday. So, I need to pack for that, too. Life's great. I gotta tell you something I could do. Right, so I've come down to Surrey for a few hours to see my mum because she gets very needy if I don't see her. <laughs> you do. I and do. she's been begging me to come, ba come and bake a pie because she um grows her own vegetables and fruits these days don't you I'm at one with mother nature she says she's at one with mother nature so she's currently baking me apple and blackberry pie i only picked these this morning that's why they're going brown very quickly they're very fresh from the tree oh merry berry flop the lid over go on then oh oh pressure pressure what video are you doing that Oh, I don't know. You might have to move over a little bit. La 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 la. Oh, da da. Bake off here. I come, Paul Hollywood. Ah. The devil dog. No, no, this one's the good one. You're the devil. You're naughty. Guys, not being funny, but I'm actually very impressed. That looks amazing. <laughs> Bake off. Hit me up. Even though it was pretty much 90% my mum had a spray tan i feel like a new woman honestly i mean this is like it really i haven't even washed it off and i'm not gonna wash it off till tomorrow so it like looks super i mean i'm not even i'm not even sure if it's acceptable to go out like this but we're gonna do it anyway i'm going for dinner which i'm really excited i'm going to la familia in chelsea which is one of my favorite italians um so yeah cute little dinner night this is what I'm wearing, plain back dress, long, trying to cover up my fake tan. I also stink, so love that for me. I cannot wait to get rid of these two pictures either. They are really doing my head in. 30 degrees, so I'm probably going to genuinely sweat this tan off. Not only will I have the pasta sweats, but I will also have the general sweats. So my fake tan probably won't last. Um, and it's gonna be really cute going out for dinner with me tonight. Good morning. I have actually woken up in Cornwall. 
I'm literally staying in such a nice place. I'm staying in this, God, sorry, this angle is not the one for me. I'm staying in a manor house. I feel like I'm in a film. It should be in a film. I'll show you the outside of it and a bit of the inside as well in this video. But it's amazing. Let me show you the outside and my view because it's giving me the vibes. Anyway, the plan of action today is we're going to go to a cute little coffee shop and then go back down to the beach because the weather's meant to change and be really bad from tomorrow. But yeah, I thought I'd show you a little, uh, little bit of Cornwall. So this is the absolute monstrosity of the house that we are staying in. It's literally like a manor. And I'm using it for ultimate interior as well. London and I'm not gonna lie I'm pretty sure that house that we were staying in was in fact haunted some weird things were happening in that house I don't know, like just the strangest thing that's like doors opening on their own my but I went upstairs and the bathroom taps were running um just some weird stuff but like I kind of do believe in spirits and stuff like that but I don't feel like they were bad spirits. I feel like they were just like playing tricks on us or just letting us know that they were there. It was really bizarre. But I kind of like, I don't know, it didn't scare me, which was really weird. Um, so yeah, I'm now back. Um, I'm going to round up and finish this vlog here because I feel like it has been going on forever and I want to get it out to you all tonight. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am going to do another vlog this week. Um, and just take you along with me. So hopefully that will be up end of this week, beginning to next week. Please like, subscribe and comment. Lots of love.